bring a story about the increasing problem there is with hooligans. We will now hear from our field reporter, Clara. Clara, Clara over to you. Thank you. Hello. I stand here with Patrick, an old hooligan. Do you think that hooliganism is a problem? At first, I want to make things clear. I don't consider myself a hooligan because uh, people think that they are bad people. I consider myself a passionate football fan. I'm at the games because I love this team and I love the people at the games. I don't just love the football. I'm also at the games so I can recruit some of the younger people, some of the younger fans, so they can get as excited and passionate about the football as me and my gang. But what do you think about the violence? It's part of the game. Okay. Don't you have any comment about the elderly hooligans? The elderly hooligans are the true fans. Thanks. With us, we also have Dave Doggett. He is the yes. chairman of Cambridge United. Yes. Um, so do you think that hooligans are increasing the problem? Yes, indeed, I think hooligans is an increasing problem. Because all hooligans like Patrick were one of the people who started these gangs and now we're joining with full force. And they're also encouraging violence among the younger generation. What and who can solve this problem? Our football club. It's too important to too many people to allow a few to ruin it. We're working closely with the police and giving quarantine to some of the members who break the law or cross the line between good behavior. And also, I think these people must have something in their lives missing, wanting to do this. And this, that's very sad. Thank you so much for your input. Back to Amanda in the studio. Uh, thank you. I'm sitting here with sociologist Susan. Wilson Smith and police officer Steve Kerrit. So, Susan, which factors would you say play a role in um, the creation of a hooligan? I think that the new technology helps the groups to plan better and they get more information about the other gangs and therefore it can result in violence. Uh, this generation doesn't just look up to their parents and see what they do, they now socialize with other groups and are more independent these days. Okay, so Steve, when we now know what the hooligan's motive is, <coughs> what, what can we do to solve this is issue? First, we acknowledge that there is a major problem, um, and we, we see that in Cambridge, all over the place, um, but, but also in other locations, and, and that is a huge problem. Um, but the club is working hard with us um, to ensure that those who use football as as bad platform and uh, use violence and disorder, that they have no place in future games or in any other places um, that are related to football. We we must say that. Thank you. Okay. So this level level of intervention is once again and sadly justified and necessary. We here in BBC hope for a better future. Enjoy your evening and stay classy.